Hello y'all, it is I, Zayab Guy. Addictions are hard to overcome. Most addictions are very serious. And I have to admit, I also have an addiction. Albeit it's not exactly as serious as other addictions may be, but I am addicted to Instagram Reels. Yes, you heard me right. If I start scrolling through Instagram, I won't stop until it's 5 hours later and I'm completely exhausted. I don't use TikTok or YouTube Shorts, but for some reason, Instagram Reels puts me in a complete trance. I just scroll and 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 Now, there is a very simple solution to this. I'm sure most of you are screaming the solution to me right now. Yes, Jap guy, you should immediately delete Instagram. What? Deleting Instagram? No, of course not. Today, I'm going to create a program that threatens me if I scroll Instagram for too long. The program will literally threaten me. Then I will have no option but to close Instagram. So, let's write this. Now, the obvious solution would be to make this into a browser extension or use a language like Python. But if you know anything about me, you know I'm gonna use C++ for this. No matter how difficult it makes it, C++ is my beloved. As with any problem, we'll divide this into tasks. Task 1 is detecting when Instagram is open. Task 2 is checking how long I've been on Instagram. Task 3 is threatening myself to stop using Instagram. Yes, threatening myself. Big Brother is always watching. So our first task is detecting if Instagram is open. If this was a browser extension, this would be extremely easy. The API probably has some check URL or URL contains function, and we just call that. However, since we don't have access to the browser itself, what can we do? We can do some tricky memory stuff. I mean, there ought to be a memory address somewhere that has the name of the current site, but who wants to deal with memory stuff? So, I meditated about this. I traveled the world far and wide, seeking answers. After climbing the tallest mountain of lands forgotten, I consulted a wise elder, and their words enlightened me. To discern if the realm of Instagram is open, one must observe the title of the active window. Seek the name Instagram within the title, for therein lies the truth you seek. The simplest solution, I think, is checking the active window's title. If you are on Instagram, the title will probably contain the text Instagram inside of it, and we can just check for that. Even if the window itself doesn't display the text of Instagram, the process will. Obviously, this solution is browser dependent, but it should work on all common browsers. Now that task 1 is done, we can move on to task 2. Honestly, task 2 is quite simple also. We'll increment the counter every second we're on Instagram. Maybe I'm responding to a message or checking my friend's stories. I don't want to punish casual social media use. So we have to be smart about this. We'll set the threshold at 5 minutes. I don't really use my phone to watch reels, so if I'm on Instagram on PC for longer than 5 minutes, I'm probably scrolling through reels. So. Let's move on to task 3. Now we could just simply close Instagram if I've been on it for too long. But come on, where's the fun in that? Why not have some fun, right? If any of you have watched Wine Sauce Joel, you'll know exactly what kind of solution I'll implement that will threaten me. As a matter of fact, I've already implemented it. Let's scroll through Instagram and see what happens. Hey buddy, it looks like you're scrolling through Instagram Reels. If you wanna keep your kneecaps, I suggest you stop that right this second. Isn't that super cool? Well, more nightmare fuel than cool, but still cool. So, how does it work? It actually works quite similarly to the Flappy Bird clone we created in the last video. We create a window, however, we create it without any title, buttons, or border. We also have to ensure that it's something called a layered window. To make the window transparent, I had to do some magic. But when we load our PNG, it draws on the screen and it's transparent. Now, this is warning one. Not super threatening. It's almost funny. Let's keep scrolling to see what happens. Okay, let me just make sure it does actually spin. This contraption was Oi, unmoved. Listen to me right now, mate. I will literally break your kneecaps. Don't try me. I better not see you scrolling through reels again. This has been my final warning. That's a bit more threatening, I guess, but I don't really care. What's the worst that can happen? Let's keep scrolling. I warned you, buddy. You should have listened.
all jokes aside, I built this because a friend of mine told me that every time I was in voice chat, I was always scrolling through reels. And I wanted to find a funny way to stop that. The code is available on GitHub, but just as a heads up, Windows Defender will probably hate it. Technically, it's malware, so use it at your own discretion. I made it for fun and education purposes. You hear that, YouTube? Educational purposes. I've been so busy with university stuff, so this video was a week late. Sorry about that. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you liked it, let me know what you thought in the description below, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. With all that said, this was it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Zaibkai out.